The candidacy of Mitt Romney has the Church of Latter-day Saints in the spotlight and in done, done so like it's never done before. Yet despite Romney's rise, the church remains secretive about its inner workings. Now, Bloomberg Business Week takes an in-depth look at the church and how it makes money in a new piece called The Mormon Empire. Joining me now is the writer of that piece, Caroline Winters. Caroline, it's great to have you here. And it was really a fascinating read to look at this because you take an in-depth look at not only the religion but the culture of itself and the business model that it runs on. Now, just to give the specifics here, the church uh, this month opened a $2 billion mega mall in Salt Lake City. A look at the church's holdings, which are very diverse, uh, TV, radio, insurance, and it brings in over a billion dollars each year. The church itself worth an estimated $40 billion. This is a, a massive profit for a religious operation. And let's remind everybody, this is an American-born religion. Right, exactly. The religion was started in 1830. It's an indigenous American religion, as you say. And, um, and what's interesting, you know, a lot of religions run businesses, but the Mormon church is different in terms of the breadth and depth of the sorts of businesses it runs. It has cattle ranches in, you know, in, in the U.S., in Australia, in Brazil. It has the Mega Mall, as you mentioned. It has, has a, 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 even a Polynesian cultural center in Hawaii. Uh, capitalism, though, is baked in as an ingredient, a fundamental mm -hmm. of how this religion operates. Uh, but they don't really talk about that very much, or at least not so in a salacious way. It's just kind of a given. Right. Well, the church definitely wouldn't refer to itself as a for-profit business, but it is, as, as you mentioned, a $40 billion um, uh, is, is the latest estimate for the total value of the church, and it brings in $8 billion annually just in tithing, membership tithing, and then money from these, these four businesses. Well, because they talked about the fact, you know, the, the mega mall, and from your piece itself, that uh, when asked, it will turn a profit, but not a very big profit, mm -hmm. correct? Right. So they, they make it out to, so that They've done all this great work. Uh, it is a legacy that they're building, but it also does make money. Um, absolutely. Well, you know, and, and while most other religions kind of make a very clear distinction between the secular and spiritual, uh, Mormon theology specifically uh, denies that there is such a distinction, and the Mormon leaders say that through these businesses they're helping to build the kingdom of God. All right, so the Mormon church did, uh, didn't receive your piece or the cover art associated with it very well, saying in a statement, sadly, the cover is a reflection of the bias and speculative nature of the article itself. It is narrow and incomplete, omitting, for instance, a good deal of information given on how church resources are used. Why do you think that this report was met with such a negative response? Um, I, um, you know, I try to be as complete and as unbiased as as possible. I think um, one. One thing I came across that was very surprising is that the church is taking in a good deal of money, but is giving, uh, you know, about fifty million dollars for a charity a year, which is relatively little compared to other religions and compared to what it's taking in, and um, and that that's for humanitarian aid. So, uh, you know, while Mormons are incredibly generous at a local level with their time and energy um, and and their money, the Mormon Church itself, you know, is giving fifty million a year for charity, but um, you know, is taking in at least 1.2 billion through just one of its holding companies. The, the church itself knows the spotlight that is provided through Mitt Romney's candidacy, with religion being off the table so much in the primary and now in the general itself. What was the reaction to you trying to put together this report? Did you find it hard? Um, well, yeah, it was hard. It was a lot of research, and but the church leaders were actually quite gracious in, in talking with me and helping me set up an interview with one of the CEOs of their holding companies. And, uh, and I, yeah, it, it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, and there were a lot of questions that went on answered and there is a very you know low level of transparency even from for Mormons and what's interesting is I've actually been getting a lot of emails from Mormons saying it's interesting that we have to come to your publication to learn how our church just operates. Leader, yeah, operates exactly. It was a fascinating read. Bloomberg's Business Week's Caroline Winter. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.